continues here at Expo in July. Eight seconds, downtown Gainesville, Fest Wrestling, Rich Bokini, Max Brink. Happy to have you along. And there is the, the roguish foursome known as Awaken. As we get set to see Wolf Taylor in action, this is a group that has been hell-bent on destruction with their most obvious target being Effie. We'll see that match later on as Effie is going to be in uh, pretty much what we can call a fight for his life, and you can guarantee that all four of the members of, of Awaken will be looking to get their hands on Effie in that main event matchup. But right now it is Wolf Taylor, who uh, a couple months ago really showed his true colors. Wolf Taylor turned on Eric Cannon and Teddy Stigma to join Awaken at Pickle in the Tree. He was partners with uh, Eric Cannon and Beasley. That's when the uh, Awaken group first formed. Since then have just been big problems for people like Effie and Eric Cannon, Teddy Stigma. here at Fest Wrestling for quite some time. Recently, uh, well, the last couple of months anyway, returned to action after dealing with a pretty severe elbow injury, Max. And just due to uh, timing issues or whatever, this is the first time that we've had the opportunity to see him here in Gainesville. I'm excited. Another great debut for Xmas in July. Darby Allen out of Seattle, Washington, semi-pro skateboarder turned professional wrestler. He's been in some pretty uh, intense battles with all ego Ethan Page and Timothy Thatcher over at Evolve Wrestling. And this is a guy that, I mean, I mean, you look at him, you can tell that he's not exactly right in the head. No, he's also a small guy, but he, he's gonna use every ounce of his body, uses his body as a weapon. I mean, really no, no regard for what happens to him. Puts his body on the line each and every night. Leaves it all out on the line. He's a big risk taker. He's got a chest tattoo that reads nothing, nothing's over till you're underground. So that uh, kind of paints the picture of his attitude. Wolf Taylor trying to take a bite out of the hand of Darby Allen. the first time we've seen Wolf Taylor in singles competition at Fest Wrestling. Of course, he's got his uh, Leon Scott and Vandal on the outside. I'm sure they'll get involved in this matchup as they always seem to do. Well, it's gonna have eyes in the back of your head when you're out there with any member of Awaken. I almost feel somebody like Darby Allen probably enjoys that, though. In a four-on-one situation, know that his back's up against the wall. Wow, beautiful. Springboard arm drag take down by Allen. Into the corner he goes, up and over. Hangs on, look out. Again with the springboard. Beautiful monkey flip. Allen again puts on the brakes, back elbow, catches Taylor in the jaw. Darby Allen again, oh wow! Just launching himself back first into Wolf Taylor, and Wolf is reeling. I think the uh, Wolf's also bleeding from the mouth, maybe. Look out. <laughs> Referee starting the count. Darby Allen waiting, knowing that if he goes out there. Oh. He's going to immediately be outnumbered. And there goes Leon into the ring post. And Darby Allen cleaning house. But look out, Wolf Taylor from behind, super kick. That's what Awaken does best. They distract Wolf Taylor, super kick to the face of Darby Allen, still down on the ground over there. Rolls him in the ring. Down for the cover, Taylor trying to put away Darby Allen and a kick out. Oh. 
Nice slap to the side of the face of Wolf Taylor from Darby. And look, a little Vandal on the outside. That's exactly what you have to look out for. Yep. And again, it cost Darby Allen. Beautiful German suplex. Whoa. And Taylor into the cover, hooks the leg. Again, Allen able to power out. Numbers sure aren't in the favor of Darby Allen for this one. Some would say that Wolf Taylor's been brainwashed by Leon Scott and the rest of Awaken. I mean, he's always led by the nose from Leon Scott, does anything he says. He definitely doesn't have an independent thought in his body. Just seems to uh, go along with the leader of Awaken, anything Leon says. It's been pretty much the idea for Leon Scott with Effie. He feels that he has a greater purpose for Effie, and Effie, in Leon Scott's mind, doesn't want to buy into it. And Leon Scott determined to make, as he says it, Effie see the light. Apparently, Wolf Taylor has fallen for it. Effie so far has resisted the overtures of Awaken. You wonder if that's going to be the same tonight when all's said and done after that bring the, bring the party weapons match up. Yeah, we got that fans bring the party weapons match to end the night tonight. We'll also see the other member, Vandal, in that scramble match for the number one contendership later on tonight. So we'll be seeing, uh, I'm sure all members Ooh. of Waken will be out for all their matches. Wolf Get Taylor. Involved. Wolf Taylor. Oh, God. Planting Darby Allen after he has kicked away at the knee. And very close to the ropes there. Allen able to kick out. Lots of fun stuff on tap here tonight at Xmas in July. Fest Wrestling, festwrestling.com on Twitter, at Fest Wrestling. Thanks for joining us on YouTube or wherever you may be watching this. Look for us on Pivot Chair, too. Wow. Tremendous forearm. Into the wind. And Wolf Taylor can't believe it. He ducked out of the way only to see his teammates wiped out. Well, if Darby can get up and turn his focus to Wolf Taylor, he might actually be able to get away with this one. Looks like Wolf Taylor's heading up top. Wolf trying to even the score. Launches himself and takes out his teammates. Darby Allen out of the way. I was about to say, Wolves can't fly. And now Darby. Perched up high. Awaken all of them. Look at this, Darby Allen climbing the, climbing the post here, and here he comes! Wow. Good God! sure everybody's all right. Darby Allen launched himself from a good 25 feet up. I'd say that's at least 25. Back first, cascading down at all the members of Awaken. Darby appears to be, always, I, I hate to say no worse for the wear, but. Trying to roll up Taylor. Springboard, cross body into the cover. And Taylor again kicks out. Big boot to the face from Wolf Taylor. Spikes him right into the center of the ring. Is this enough to put away Darby in his debut at Fest? No. Also, Wolf Taylor's debut as a singles competitor. He's having an impressive showing so far. Darby Allen, as we've seen in this matchup, is willing to risk anything and everything. He says he doesn't, uh, he doesn't ever care how he feels tomorrow, doesn't care about tomorrow. He lives for today. It's a guy who lived in an abandoned warehouse in Seattle, went through a number of tragedies. That's why he's willing to risk it all.
He doesn't want to go back to the life that he had. He's willing to do whatever it takes to be successful inside the ring. If that means elbow injuries, so be it. If that means high-risk maneuvers, so be it. If that means putting his body in harm's way, so be it. And here comes Darby Allen, Nearly hitting his head off that monitor up there. Is this enough to put away Wolf? Into the cover, hook of the leg, and that's it. not starting off or awaken the way that they would like it to, Matt. Well, they got two more chances. Darby Allen is long the way to debut here at Fest Wrestling, picks up the victory. Battered and bruised, but he gets the win over Awaken and Wolf Taylor.